create the Ladies Diary card folio, cut one piece of cardstock 12 inches long by 8 and a half inches wide, and one piece 6 inches long by 3 inches wide. Take the 12 inch piece and score it on your scoreboard at half inch, 5 and 3 quarters, 6 and a quarter, and 11 and a half. Turn the piece so that the eight and a half inch side is at the top and score it two and one quarter and two and a half. Score the three inch side at half inch, one inch, and two and a half inches. Now cut along the score lines to make two pocket flaps. So you will cut the half inch section out, cut along the score lines up to the second score line. Turn the paper to cut the other notches. And so cut along the two little score lines and cut out the notch. This will leave you a flap on the right and left side of your folio. I did not show it in the video, but after you cut these two notches to create a half inch flap, you will score the half inch flaps on both sides in half so that you have two quarter inch sections. Now I am folding up those quarter inch sections, folding along the quarter inch score line to create a quarter inch folded flap. Here I am scoring the narrow quarter inch space. This makes like a little gusset pocket for your cards. score the two long sides on each side. These are reinforced sides, so we're going to score these and add score tape to reinforce the sides. Also score the two center pieces. This is the center gusset of your folio. And it will fold up like this. And I'm just checking the width. It should be five and a quarter inches wide once everything is folded up. Here I'm taking the score tape. I'm using 3 8 inch score tape and put it on the inside just along the score line. You don't want to go across the score line on the two long edges. Burnish it down and pull the backing off and stick these long edges down. This just gives it a thicker edge so that it doesn't tear. because you want the folio to be used uh, as a gift. You're giving it to someone to hold cards that you will make for them. Next, take quarter inch score tape and apply it to the tab of the bottom section. This will make your quarter inch pocket Apply tape to both sides on the left and the right. Trim off any excess tape that might be sticking out. Now fold in and pull the backing off. You will make a little quarter inch space there with the second quarter inch section and just stick down the first quarter inch piece.
make sure you stick it down nice and straight right along the cut edge and this creates a pocket with a quarter inch gusset to hold cards and use your bone folder to reach in there and burnish it down really well and check to make sure that it is stuck down good and that it's straight and then repeat for the other side Take your corner rounder or chomper and round just the inside corners of the pocket flaps. Now we're ready to create the flap closure for our folio. So take your 3 inch by 6 inch piece of cardstock and on the side where you have just one half inch score line, score that down, burnish it with your bone folder. Take your 3 8 inch score tape and apply it to the inside on the half inch section. Burnish the tape down. Peel off the backing. And attach down. This reinforces this edge of the closure. Fold the other score lines and then take your tape, uh, score tape again and attach it to the other half inch section also on the inside. Burnish the tape down, peel the backing off, and then attach it to the right side, the outside of your, port, uh, your folio. Position the folio straight into the half inch fold line. Get it as straight as you can. Take your time. And that creates your closure. Check it to make sure that it is square. And we're ready to add our magnetic closures. For my project, I use the basic gray large magnetic snaps and take the plus side of the magnet sets, peel off the backing, and attach two magnets about three quarters to an inch from the top and bottom and about a quarter inch from the, the side. Next, position the minus magnets over the ones that you just attached so that the paper side is up, the label side, and then peel that backing off. And close your folio, making sure that you line up the ends, the edges, really well so that it's square. So take your time with that and fold it down, getting that little pocket gusset lined up in there where it should be. and then carefully separate the magnets and they will be in position where they need to be on your folio and take some score tape and cover each magnet uh, down with tape. This keeps them from sticking together and fall, coming off during the process of patterning your folio. This folio will be patterned with the Graphic 35 Ladies Diary and I will show photos of my finished project and I thank you for watching.